Hi everybody, this is of course Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, but it's the mobile version and it is running on my old PC, my old laptop, which is an old Acer Aspire E1571 with a core i5 2.6 GHz, but it has no um, dedicated graphics on it or anything like that. So normally you can't run first person game, well, recent first person games at all. Uh, it's about three to four years old. It's good for, rent for rendering videos and doing YouTube stuff and surfing the web but not much else but here we are running player on battlegrounds with the keyboard of mice which you can do two for free and i'm going to show you how to do that in this video all you need to do is go to your internet browser and search in 10 cent gaming buddy and uh what the first link that come up should be this one which is https syzs.qq.com forward slash en and you click on that and that will take you down to this link which enables you to download Tencent's official emulator for running PUBG on your laptop on your PC for free and the advantage of doing this rather than doing uh, doing it via the Bluestacks way or something like is the fact that it's the official way of doing it so it works pretty well um, also it means that you're not going to be thrown into lobbies with people who are playing on mobile which I know is an advantage for you when you're playing with the keyboard and mouse, but it's not very fair for them, is it? When they're running around trying to use the touch controls on their screen and they come across against somebody with a gaming mouse and a gaming keyboard who basically roasts them, so it's pretty bad. But anyway, you download it and you'll end up with uh, this sort of screen. And then you hit play and it'll download PUBG and you'll get into the PUBG lobby. Now, one other thing you might find very useful is although I did just knock blue stacks, is if you search uh, in your browser for blue stacks keyboard controls pubg one of the links that will come up will be this which gives you a list of controls that work in pubg mobile in the tencent emulator because i haven't been able to find a definitive list an official list of what the controls are um, which is uh, so they're all there um, it's the normal things wasd for moving around on your keyboard uh, right click to aim down sights left click to um, left click to fire all that sort of stuff but you can play around with that and then you'll come into the, the main screen um, what I will do is after I've stopped talking I will record a little bit of gameplay so you can see kind of see what it's like but I can't be talking at the same time because I use OBS uh, software to, re to screen capture what I'm doing now and if I start playing the game it puts too much <laughs> puts too much um, strain on my laptop and it stops recording the game properly um, so that's a bit odd. So anyway, I'll put that. I'll put that afterwards. So the beauty with uh, PUBG Mobile is it has this really cool progression system. So you can rank up. I'm currently ranking 15. You can get goodies. Um, you can pay for a season pass to give you different uh, tasks. But there's a free version of the Royal Pass as well. So you can do all that stuff. But what's really cool is that you can play in the classic mode, which is you know 100 players onto either Erangel or Mirror Map. Miramar or you can choose which map you want to play or a random selection of both which is cool you can play in first person perspective or third person perspective and then you've got solo duos and squads Oop, like that. Um, and it also has the arcade mode which is brilliant and if you choose arcade you can choose to randomly play one of these games or play a specific one you have mini zone which is 100 players but effectively dropping onto the first circle so you have a much faster game and the circles come in quicker as well great for practicing quick match which is the old arcade mode as it used to be in PUBG Mobile where you dropped into a much smaller circle I think with 30 players and it can be themed so you could have all weapons you could have shotguns you could have pistols you could have melee and you're around killing each other and then you also have sniper training um, where I think it's 40 players into a smaller circle and it's either all the sniper rifles or just the bolt action sniper rifles i think you get pistols as well so you can choose to do that and then also down the bottom here you have training which is really cool if you, if you click on that that takes you to a rifle range um where you can practice with all the weapons uh, friendly fire is off so you don't have to worry about getting killed you can there's an obstacle course to jump around and you can pick up any of the vehicles and drive them around a small racetrack so it's really cool so there we go um oh and one final thing you can log in as whatever account that you're using on your phone as well so any progression you do while you're playing uh, PUBG Mobile on your laptop PC will happen on your phone as well which is which is really uh, really nice so there we go so go to Google just search for um, Tencent uh, Gaming Buddy download it for free uh, search 
blue stacks PUBG uh, keyboard controls to get, give you an idea of the different keyboard controls getting to the training to practice play the arcade mode in one of the, the you know uh, one of the faster like a mini zone or something like that and then enjoy PUBG mobile on your laptop PC on your old laptop PC for free oh one final thin X thing actually if you are playing on an older laptop or PC or a you know, lower powered one like myself it can be a bit tricky when it gets near the end to take on real players who are good you know because you can imagine if somebody's good with the keyboard and mouse they tend to be really good and they're probably I think there's probably quite a lot of people playing on this on higher end PCs as well that are whacking along at very very high frame rates and my laptop chugs along probably at about 20 frames a second if I'm lucky when I get near the end game and when people are running around so I don't have that much of a chance there but there's tends to be plenty of bots in the early game so you can get practice shooting and, and having a bit of fun that way so anyway that's enough from me for now if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more time for subscribe put your comments down below and what I'll do is I'll just tag on a li little bit of gameplay on the end now so that you can kind of watch that but you won't hear me you won't hear me talking because um, my computer can't record that at the same time <laughs> right here we go